Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay and today we are filming seed starting vlog round two. Now the reason that these are rolling out in rounds is because if you watched my very first gardening video, which I'll link, um, I talked about my seed starting schedule. A big mistake that I've made in the past would be to start my seeds way too early and then by the time I got them to the garden, they were stressed, they were shocked, <clears throat> and it just didn't work out for me. So I'm being really diligent this time about my schedule and so far so good. We started these together on March 10th. Today is April 2nd and uh, we're starting the next round. So this was the grow schedule that we had talked about and today we are starting um, banana peppers, Brussels sprouts, um, zucchini, two different kinds of cucumbers, my um, lavender beauty phlox which was a free seed packet from Baker Creek, my blue disc African daisies which I am just so excited about and my bachelor's button and asters. So that's what we're starting today. This seed tray, I, all of these empty spots you see here were tomatoes. And if you saw my last video, I up potted those so they're not in here anymore. These are all really small. Um, they're not, they don't have a lot of height on them. So I'm comfortable putting new seedlings in here because when they sprout and they need to be close to the light, I still have the light really close to these because these are small. So I'm not worried about the distance like I was with tomatoes. So for soil, I have my handy dandy bucket you guys have been seeing. I went ahead and put some um, burpee seed starting mix in here, but like I said before, it's nice and fine like the seedlings want, but it's not very nutritious. So I also have some potting soil here. I ran out of my miracle Grow, so I had this hanging out in my shed, and it is Happy Frog um, potting mix. So I'm just gonna use this because I have it. I don't feel like leaving the house today. Although I do really like Miracle Rose potting soil. I've been using it for years and I've always had a really good time with it. Um, and then the other thing I have in this bucket is um, the perlite that you've been seeing me use, but instead of putting it on top like I've been doing, I'm mixing it in this time. So we'll see how that works. So there's that. And then I'm gonna pour in a couple. These are reused. I'm not opening a new bottle of water for this. And I do recycle bottles by the way um, <laughs> if you watched my last seed starting vlog I said that I wanted to have done that this out here um, but that day it was 28 degrees and I didn't want to be cold today it's 32 degrees so still colder than I really want to be in but I just don't want to do it in my dining room anymore so here I am freezing my tush off all right and we're just gonna mix that around we're doing this because we want the soil to be moist. Um, putting new seeds in dry soil and then trying to water it from above is just not the best way to do things. If you pre-moisten your soil, you're really setting your seeds up for success. They're gonna be really well hydrated all around right off the bat. And it also kind of makes the soil easier to work with, I feel like. That looks great. Scoop some soil. I'm gonna try not to get them on my others, but if I do, I mean, it's just soil. Be fine. Benny. Benny Blue. Oh, there you are. What are you doing? Why are you crying? I could hear him crying, but I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Doggy mom ears. Okay, my hands are really cold, so I really don't want to get them super wet right now, so that's why I'm using this spoon. So, <laughs> I'm actually feeling kind of sick today, and I'm like burning up. Probably have like a little fever, so I, um... That's part of the reason why I'm out here because I like woke up and I was like, oh, it's cold. I'm going to put a sweatshirt on. And then as soon as I did, I was sweating. So I was like, we're doing this outside today. This is my first time filming um, a gardening video outside, you guys. 
This is exciting. Okay, let's do, let's see. I don't want to do the cucumbers or the zucchini in this tray with my little baby flowers because those get really big. So let's do flocks. I have one, two, three, four, five. Let's do flocks, African daisies, bachelor buttons, asters. Oh, and my peppers. Perfect, I'll put the peppers next to the other peppers. That'll be great. I actually don't know why I didn't start these with my other peppers. Not really sure what I did there. But also um, the African daisies and the bachelor buttons, I'm supposed to start outdoors, but I don't have any of my beds ready. Um, my chicken coop is getting delivered this next Saturday. So that's really exciting. Um, this is a fourth inch for these banana peppers. Um, and then I kind of reached out to the guy that I'm getting the raised bed from and I was like, what do you think? And he was like, well, my dad is sick, so I'm not really sure. And I was like, all right, just let me know. So I really, I mean, I've, I've been praying for his dad and I, I really hope everything's okay with him and his family, of course. Um, but also I really hope I get those beds on time because like we're in motion here. We've got things moving. I need to stay on schedule because I can't keep those things indoors forever. Okay. These are the banana peppers. I'm gonna cover those up a little bit and I'm not gonna put any perlite on top this time um, because it's mixed in. So I'm gonna, so that I can keep up with it, I'm gonna go ahead and label it now. Does anybody else sing the B-A-N-A-N-A-S song when they're trying to spell banana? And today is for two, so I'm naming it and dating it. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm starting to feel cold. <laughs> I'm getting cold. I'm just gonna let that dry and I'm gonna move on. I'm cold. Ah, my hands are cold. Okay. All right, let's do flocks here. Oh. Okay, an eighth an inch seed dip. So that's like borderline surface. So, so I'm just gonna kind of push the tip of the Sharpie into the soil. I'm not gonna like dramatically And then, oh, you know what? Let's see how small these are and that'll help me decide if I'm gonna do one seed per cell or two. I did my California poppies, two, and each there's each one has two <laughs> that, that sprouted. <laughs> so decision making coming here soon. These are pretty big. I'm gonna go ahead and just do one per. I hate the idea of thinning out my seedlings and I know a lot of you do that's like the worst I don't want it's like choosing your favorite child like I've raised you from birth I don't want to have to get rid of one of you that's terrible but I know that it's necessary for the other to thrive you know still not a fan of the concept what's that where's your ball go get your ball go get your ball go get it Go get it. Where's your ball? Go get it. Okay, cool. And then we'll do bachelor's button. This is open already because I started some in a, um, a clear water jug. Like so many of you, I've seen so many people do that and I thought it was so cool and it was kind of a fail. I'll grab it, let me show you because I had way more of these and this is what's left. And it'll be like 68 one day and then it'll snow the next day and then it'll be 55 and then it'll be 14. And I just don't think they can keep up with like the fluctuating temperatures. I also started Mother of Pearl Poppies and Amazing Gray Poppies in these clear jugs and it nothing happened, total fail. But I started them here. That's what, um, that's what this, this is the mother of pearl poppy and this is the amazing gray poppy. So, you know, I'm, I'm fine with the fact that the water jug one failed. Um, I don't remember what the seed depth, fourth inch. I'm just gonna do one per for this. I'm gonna have a lot of flowers this year and not a lot of place to put them, so. These are really cool looking seeds. Blue disc African daisy. I can't 
can't wait. Oh, let me label the bachelor buttons. I cannot wait for these daisies. And I, um, I didn't realize that they came in so many different color combinations. Um, but I see people on Instagram posting them and I recognize them because they've got the really striking blue middle. Um, but they'll be like, the leaves will be yellow or they'll be pink. And I'm like, I'm just picturing a field full of all the different colored ones. And I'm like, that's what I want my future to look like. Okay. So I'm gonna look more into that next year and see if I can find those different varieties because that they're gorgeous. I, don't, I, I like daisies. I don't know if I'd say they're my favorite, but I do really like daisies. You guys, I'm like, my breath is getting lost. I'm so cold. Eighth inch seed depth. Oh my gosh, these seeds are ginormous. And then I think I'm gonna take a break after I get these asters planted and get some breakfast and warm up because I'm like feeling cold in my bones. And if I am getting sick, I don't want to be cold. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some asters in this last one. This is fourth inch. Oh geez, I hate when there's seeds stuck to the, you're like not ready. Okay. Fourth inch is pretty deep for these little tiny seeds. Okay, I'm gonna do one at a time, these are little. I am still just gonna do one per because I have so many flowers this year. Same thing with my tomatoes. Like if all six of every kind of flower I try to grow germinates and makes it to transplant, don't know what I'm gonna do with them all. <laughs> so I'm okay. I only did the poppies the way that I did them because people have told me they've had such a hard time with germination that I wanted to guarantee I'd get some and I did. So. That's fine with me. Also, you guys follow me on Instagram because I give, I post either in actual posts or um, in my, really mostly in my story, I post updates all the time. I talk about my plants more than I talk about anything else. So follow me on Instagram if you want to see updates of these babies that we're starting today. Okay, I'm going to take, I'm gonna go ahead and take the seeds in with me just because I don't want the wind to blow them away. Um, and we'll come back and start the rest of this. What's gonna feel like no time to you at all. And I'm gonna go get this put up in the house cause it's cold and I don't want my babies out here in the cold. So I'm in my dining room and I'm just kind of hanging out giving everything a little spritz. These guys needed to be watered anyway. And I'm gonna tell you guys a couple of things. First of all, when I did my, my uh, last seed starting vlog, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna bottom water. I haven't, I have not bottom watered. I actually really did not enjoy it. I see the benefit in it if you're like gonna go on a trip or something and you need them to be watered we're going to universal studios in may so i probably will bottom water then but i really enjoy the time i spend with each little baby and i feel so much closer to them because i do hand water them which is probably really silly sounding to some of you but i am who i am um so i've just been using this little water bottle for these little guys i just come in and spray them for the um tomatoes over here I use a bottle of water, one of these down here, and I just give each one a little drink. And I really like the Solo Cups. I like how it's been working out with the water retention because I'm actually only needing to water them like every other day. I kind of just stick my finger in here and, and feel, and it's like still moist. It doesn't really feel like it needs any water. So that's kind of where I'm at. Also, I just wanted to mention that if you notice my California poppies here, these little bottom um, pieces are starting to look a little yellow, but the growth on top is really lush and green. So I'm thinking these are just needing to be pulled off. So I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna pull these little bottom ones off and just help it focus on its new growth. And that's all I have. The, the basil here smells literally like doing this just standing back with my phone I'm, I can smell it I don't even have to have my face in it like I can smell that and the lemon basil too the lemon basil smells just like like lemony Lysol like I'm shocked at how strong the lemon flavor or scent is oh so good these are my peppers they're doing pretty good and my poppies and then these are the babies we just planted can't wait 
Okay, well this turned into a whole thing. So as I was going through and picking off the yellow like I told you I was gonna do, I was looking at my poppies, my California poppies, and they were looking very crowded. I had two to each little 72 cell tray because I didn't think I was gonna have germination. This is a 2019 seed packet. I was wrong, almost every single one had two to a, a cell. And so I decided to up pot them. <laughs> they were in here and I was gonna put them in here although they aren't different height wise. And that was a mistake. I had two of these full of soil ready to go. And when I took the first one out of here and teased the roots, they were about, gosh, at least that tall, like the roots. And so I was like, well, that's not gonna work. So I have these um, babies, they are taller. You can see the comparison to this sitting here. A um, Little bit taller, not a lot taller. And then I did separate all of them like the ones that had two per cell, I teased the roots and separated them the best I could and I planted all of them. So, and I've never done that before. So I don't know, are they gonna die? Like, <laughs> are they definitely too shocked to continue? You know, I don't know how it's gonna work out. So I'm just letting you know that that's what I did and we are gonna look, we're gonna watch together and see, do they live, do they die? I hope they live, I really want poppies. <laughs> anyway, okay. Well, last we talked, it was April 2nd, and ooh, Benny's freaking out because he can see the cats. <laughs> last we talked, it was April 2nd, now it's April 8th, so it's been six days, and I realized while I was trying to do some editing for this um, seed starting vlog that I never hit record. I went inside, I had a rest, I had some breakfast, and I did come out and start my zucchini, my Brussels sprouts, and my cucumbers, um, but I never hit record. So I figured to make up for it, I would go over a little seed starting tour with you to kind of see where we're at here um today it is friday april 8th and um let's see where we're at here so these are my tomatoes we up potted these together a little while ago and they are just beautiful i'm so happy with how they're doing and i am a little nervous that maybe i'll have to up pot them again because i still have a ways to go before i can plant these but a few of them are still on the smaller side this one why won't you focus this one's looking a little small, but I mean, look at the one next. This guy's huge. So I don't know. We'll just have to play it by ear. Betty Blue, no bark, please. Thank you. We'll just have to play it by ear, but my tomatoes are doing fabulous. Also, it's um, important to note that I have these ones under the uh, red spectrum light and these ones under the white light. And um, these look a bit smaller. I don't know. I mean, not bad, they're doing fine. They're just a little bit smaller. Uh, some of the leaves turned a little yellow, so I did, what is going on today with this focusing? Some of the leaves are a little yellow, so I did go through um, the other day and did a, a good fertilization just to make sure that they have the nutrients that they need. Okay, we're gonna move on here. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I up-potted my oregano, and it's doing lovely. This started out in a 72 cell tray, and I thought it was time to Put it in a bigger pot so i have it in one of these little peat pots this one's not looking great but it's hanging in there um these are two different kinds of oregano but it's doing well also and i've got two of them right here too Ugh, shadow so there's that these let me see here i want to get these right we just started these this is this is my zucchini that we started on the second so this is six days of growth I'm gonna go in and pick those seeds off, don't worry. Isn't it so satisfying to do that? Excuse my sniffles. And then here I've got my two different kinds of cucumbers. And they're doing, oh, I've got one little baby back here that's struggling, but he's hanging in there. So there's that. And then the Brussels sprouts, this is my very first time growing Brussels sprouts. I've never grown them before. And I've got three that came up. So, you know, it's just an experiment. I'm, I'm honestly not concerned. If it doesn't work out, I'm just giving it a shot. So there's that. Um, these were some onions that I started. Onions and garlic were on my to-do list next year, but then I kind of felt pressured <laughs> to do onions and I'm actually gonna do them differently next year. I'm not gonna grow them in cells like this, um, but I've got those and these are the New York Earlies and I've got these. They're looking a little, they've got some of that algae or whatever on top so I'm gonna have to do something about that this I found on the ground um, it came off of my raspberry bush so I stuck it in water just to see what would happen I don't know 
I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. I'm just gonna leave it until it comes transplant day and then I'll cross that bridge when I get there. This was the pepper that I started in January. And, um, hmm, got a little something right here. I don't know, it's doing good though. It actually has, I don't know, let me see if I can get you to see it. It's got a little bud there in the middle. Cutie. These are my California poppies that I repotted. And if you recall, I like pulled them apart and none of them have outright died yet, but some of them are certainly doing better than others. Like this guy in the corner here, not looking super great, but not dead. So we'll see, maybe they'll make a comeback. Today, I actually up potted all of my basil. So this is my Emily basil and these are my lemon basils. And I just felt like they had definitely gotten too big for their little 72 cell tray. So I went ahead and up potted them today. And that's what kind of encouraged me to shoot this video. This is a little bit more oregano that I, when I planted it, I just threw these seeds in this random pot that I had and it's doing great. Um, these are some strawberries that I started. Little tiny sprouts in there, a few. Um, I'm probably gonna end up buying strawberry starts from the nursery. Um, oh, the door is open. Benny, come on, come out here. Yeah, because I tried to grow strawberries last year and it was a bust and it looks like it's probably gonna be a bust this year too, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, now over here, I want to, these are my poppies here, and I actually had planned on up potting those today. I came out here with the intent of up potting po uh, poppies and I up potted basil instead, just because I, I don't know, I feel like the basil's growing more aggressively, like quicker, and I think the poppies are gonna be okay to hang out in their small cells a little bit longer, because I have to get ready for work after this. Um, so soon I'll up pot those as well. These are my peppers that I started in my first seed starting vlog. They'll probably need to be up potted soon too. This is the stuff that we started the other day, the flowers. So uh, these are the banana peppers. Nothing has happened with them. And I think I'm probably gonna put a piece of cling wrap over top of them um, to trap in some heat and help them germinate because I think that's the problem. And then here we have the asters and we do have some germination, only two haven't. And then this is the African, let me see if I can create some light here. This is the African daisy. I've got this one, which I'm gonna have to pull the um, seed cap off of. And then there's one coming up right here. And that's it, which is making me a little nervous because I really, really want African daisies, but I'm gonna direct sow them as well. So we'll see. Here are my bachelor buttons. And I've got, again, only two of them haven't. And then over here, I've got my flocks and nothing has germinated. Not a single one. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I don't think that's, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Get that big old thing out of there. Yeah, I don't think any of them have germinated, but that's okay. I'm not being hard on myself, you know? Whatever I get, I get. And honestly, if I stand back and look, what, what do I have to be upset about? This is going so well. <laughs> so, you know, whatever I get, I'm, I'll be happy with. And whatever I don't get, I could always substitute at the nursery by buying starts. So I just wanted to give you a quick little tour and show you what we're working with here. I will say that I'm getting a little concerned because I did not account for all of this up potting when I like created my indoor seed starting operation. So I'm like quickly running out of room and we still have another day of seed starting coming. Like April 23rd, I think, or something. I have a whole list of stuff we're starting on April 23rd. So if I've up potted my poppies, my tomatoes, my basil, <laughs> um, my oregano, I'm, I'm like, cause these take up a lot more space than these do, you know? So, I don't know. We'll see. I might have to get creative. Might have to get creative. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, you guys, I'm going to end this here. I really appreciate you hanging out with me um, on this seed starting vlog slash seed starting tour. And stay tuned for the next one, I believe, April 23rd. Also, oh, one more thing that I'll show you. Um, 
we built the two garden boxes that are gonna go here by the chimney. So they're not directly in their spots yet, but um, this one is gonna go along here, and then this one's gonna go along here. They're eight feet long, so they're coming out from the chimney eight feet, and then when I have them in place, we're gonna build, I'm gonna do the arched trellis and this is where I'm gonna grow my, my green beans and my snap peas and my um, black-eyed Susan vine and things like that. So stay tuned for that too. Thanks guys, have a great day, bye.